Alright, <clears throat> Shalom. I'm giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKadosh. Double, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is here, Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing and sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Alright, so this is a really, really quick video. Um, you know, on, on this, this post, a brother, has, uh, a brother has sent this out. Uh, you know, his channel name is Kazak Banya Howard. You know, the brother sent this to me, and um, it was sometime last week, but I did near the end of last week. And I said, Well, I'm, I'm going to eventually do a video on this because this is this is a very, very prophetic thing. Now, um, as you can see here, it says Hebrew in high demand as coronavirus lockdown, lockdowns keep people stuck indoors, all right. And um, when we want to bottom is is there has been a large increase in demand for lessons in the hebrew all right now their hebrews all screwed up you know that's why we go back to paleo hebrew which is ancient hebrew see we teach hebrew the right way all right now they they, they have a thing called yiddish you know as far as these rats all right and um you know they don't they they even even in in their power they still don't have the correct tongue man they still don't have it you know that proves that the lord is not dealing with them man all right he just gave them the power to uh you know enslave us because we went off that that's only for a short amount of time though because as you can see 2021 the january 3rd 2021 you know it, it, the, the the time you know, he, he, he saw Edom's time is up, man. But this is exactly what, you know, we've been telling you, though. This is, this is, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, I lost, I lost my train of thought just now. But this is, um, you know, what we've been telling you, all right? That, that's what I was getting ready to say, that we're going to, you know, you're going to start, talk about you two-thirds, man. You want to start panicking. Right. And this is part of this is part of the, the, the awakening here, you know, because we have the correct answer. You know, we have the correct answer. And, you know, that the, the answer is in front of your faces, man. But you just don't want to hear it. All right. So uh, there's two things I got out of this. One is because uh, uh, people are starting to panic. They look at they looking for help now. Right. They notice that these other these other languages and these other. Uh, 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 religions ain't doing it. So now everybody wants a, wants a, wants a piece of Hebrew, which again, this ain't the correct Hebrew any damn way. Right. But let's, uh, so like it. let's get a, a scripture on that and get a couple of scriptures on that, you know, and it's going to explain, you know, what I, what I was saying is two things, you know, it's, you know, knowledge is going to be increased. You know, that's one thing. All right. But this is also leading towards the destruction, too. Right. Because the Lord could either say, I'm dealing with you or I'm not. Because, you know, if the Lord have mercy on you. Right. You, you wanted to keep walking past the prophets. If the Lord have mercy on you, you know, you if you are Israelite, you know, then then that's that's just what it is. But if not, then again, man, that's just what it is. All right, so this is the book of Daniel. I was going to start, man, what the hell is that? I was going to start at um 4. I'm going to start at 1. Um, it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the, uh, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. All right, thy people is talking about Israel, man. All right. It said, and there shall be a time of trouble, right? Such as never was since there was a nation, all right? Even to that time, even to that same time. So there's going to be a time of trouble, man. All right? This is all about today, too. But there's going to be, there's a reason why, they, why these scriptures was written. is because everything was written, everything that was written for, uh, for a time was for our learning today, all right? And there is about to be a time of trouble. Like no, like no other time on since the earth was created, and I don't. And Jake out here don't understand how deep that is. I don't even think we understand how could truly, truly, truly understand how deep that is until it really happens. But we understand that we 
one thing we do understand for sure is that we're gonna need Lord Yahweh by Shem on on um on our side in order to 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 make it through this shit. All right. Hell, even now, man, you want you need Lord Yahweh by Shem on your side, man. You do. That's why we pray day in and day out, man. You know, constantly, whenever whenever we get the chance. Okay. Um. It says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Right? So in that time of Jacob's trouble, man, the elect is going to be delivered out of that shit. All right? And especially, especially, it's, um, you know, right before the missiles hit, man. Okay? It's, uh, verse 2, it says, and many of them that sleep in the dust of, of the earth shall awake. Right? Some to everlasting life and some to shame and, ev and everlasting contempt, right? Now, you can put that towards other nations, too, because other nations are going to start realizing, like, oh, shit, right? Like, like, because it said some to everlasting life, which is talk about the elect, man, okay? Start with the elect. It's going to be all of Israel, but it's start with the elect, man, because, uh, you know, two-thirds of Israel have to be destroyed, right? And the elect... Is going to start with that everlasting life, man. Okay, and then, and it says some put the shame. It says some to shame, man. Right? Because a lot of you two thirds at the, at the end, man, it's just it's just like um, the time of Noah, man. You know, some of you two thirds two thirds at the end is going to realize that you really messed up and you should have you should have worshipped Lord Yahweh by Shemiah man. You should have listened to the to the men you call bums on the street on a, on a street corner, man. You know. The men you call snow dummies and shit like that, man. You should you you won't realize that you should have listened to them, man. You know, you think we get up, you know, early in the morning on Saturday just to run out there and just and just say nothing, you know. You think we get up and do live streams, you know, like we did yesterday, last last week, you know, on New Year's, fucking 12, 12, 12 one o'clock, speaking nothing, you know. Okay, so it says some to shame, man. So it goes towards you other nations as well. Y'all gonna realize, like, oh shit, man. That this this is it. You know, a lot of you Edomites are already in the know. A lot of you, a lot of you Edomites are already in the know, right? Them the the UFOs that you call UFOs, because you can't identify it, man. That's 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 too high. That's too of a higher power for you, right? You can't identify it, but y'all, but a lot of, a lot of you will start to realize that that's the Lord, man, coming back to the, coming, watching over Israel, man. Okay. Let's go down to three. It says, and they, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Oh, firmament. So like it. it said, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. All right. Now this is my main point. Verse four. It says, "But thou, O Daniel, shut up, shut the shut up the words and seal the book." All right. So, so this is, the book is sealed, man. And uh, I believe in somewhere in um I think Isaiah twenty nine, and I want to say verse eleven. The Lord said, "What well, he he get ready to break that seal from the um you know from the book, the book that's sealed because it was he was talking about that you know when we you know it said I." Read this. I pray you. I I implore you. Read this, and then and then the wicked said, "No, nah, I can't. It's sealed." And, and that's what scoffers say deep down in this. You know that spirits. You know, I can't. I can't read it. It's sealed. I can't open it. You know, like that door you just can't open, and it's just like, God damn it, you know, I can't open it, and you just give up, man. You know that's kind of what that is. So the Lord, the Lord sealed, the Lord sealed the book, man. You know. That's why he allowed, you know, that's one of the reasons why he allowed so many different translations is to confuse people, right? Because it's not meant for every Israelite to get it, okay? So, he said what? Shut, um, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run. To and fro, right? So many gonna be running to and fro. That means running, running all around, searching, you know, typing on the internet and stuff like that, trying to look up, for, look, trying to look for answers, right? Part part of it is that article you just saw, man. 
They said it's a high demand for lessons in Hebrew because people are trying to look for an answer. They run into a fro looking for an answer, man, because they can't find it. Okay. They said, and knowledge shall be increased. So knowledge is definitely going to be increased, man. Even on the, or even on the left hand side, knowledge is definitely going to be be increased. You know, when they start realizing that, when when Esau Edom start realizing, which he which he already realizes that now, but when he really really start realizing that, damn. My time really, really is almost up, right? That's an increase in knowledge, man, because they, because now they know. I mean, they always did know, but now they really, really know. And they won't realize that Satan wasn't in, wasn't in control. It was the Lord, man. That's an increase in knowledge, right? And it goes towards our, our, our own people, too. Sure, you know, like every now almost every Jake know that the Israel, like almost every Jake. That's an increase in knowledge. That don't mean they're going to be saved, though. You know? Hell, we pray that we save, you know? But let's, um, let's go to Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, man, because this is this is exactly what I've been reading, for, you know, for the last couple of days now, man. All right? I mean, last couple of videos now, yeah. This is Proverbs 1 and 26. I was going to start at the main point, but that's all right. Proverbs 1 and 26, it says, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So he said he going to laugh at your calamity, man, because you jakes, you blacks, Latinos, Native Americans don't want to get right, man. You want to still continue to celebrate this fake-ass New Year's, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, Memorial Day, President's Day, uh, 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 Election Day, so like it, Election Day, and whatever else you worship, man, uh, Valentine's Day or whatever, right? You still will continue wanting to do, want to do wickedness. You want to continue to eat. Uh, uh, abominable foods, you know, and the Lord said you want to laugh, laugh at your calamity, man. You want to walk, walk past the car, uh, the, 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 the prophets and say, get off the corner with that bullshit. You know, this is the stuff that you say, man. They're going on to verse 27. It says, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they seek me er so like, and then shall they call upon me early. To, damn, so like, <laughs> then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. That's the part I got. I got mixed up with. So like, it says, so then, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. So you want to try to call, call upon the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, but he ain't going to answer, right? It says, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, right? So y'all, again, man, that goes back to Daniel uh, 12 and 4, man. You know, y'all going to be running to or fro trying to look for an answer, man. And sure, now it's going to be increased. But what? You still you still not going to find the Lord, y'all, by Shemuel Shah, unless, unless he wants you to. Right? Unless he wants you, if you're really, really sincere. And the Lord see that you're sincere. So about you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right? Because that's the only, that that's who the law was given to. And that's who we always, that's who we always talk to. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans until you get right, man. Right, you gotta get you gotta get right with Lord Yahweh by Shimei Osha, okay? Because y'all go, it's gonna be a lot of sad faces, you know, and in a year in the year twenty twenty one. I mean, hell, it already started, man. I mean, twenty twenty. Hey, come on, man. So I said, y'all gonna try to seek the Lord early, man. You gonna try to look for Hebrew lessons, right? But but y'all ain't gonna find them. Y'all ain't gonna find them, right? So you can learn a little bit of Hebrew. I don't mean shit. Verse twenty nine. It says, "For they, for that they hated knowledge." That's like it. For that they hated knowledge, and did not choose the Lord. Yeah, the fear of the Lord. Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. All right. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Right. All right. So let me go down. It says, but whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall fear. It shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, that's that's that, man. You know, hey, man, people, people running to and fro trying to look for an answer. And and that, you know, it, it ain't it ain't gonna work out, man. You know, unless really again, unless the Lord really really wants you to, man. 
okay? All right, <clears throat> so on that, you know, I want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakwadash, that were honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the sincere Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the security and the truth and the sound doctrine. All right, Shalom.